What's up guys, Polly Popo here and today I'm going to be using the um, regular MPC uh, software that came with the MPC. There is a free MPC version out there, all you have to do is go and download it. I think it's really really cool because yeah they say yeah, you can only have two audio tracks but you really don't need but one because if you want to export your audio tracks most likely you're going to export your audio tracks to another DAW. And I want to show you how to do that on this video, but first I want to go ahead and just play something on here um, using uh, the Mini Grand, and um, I'm, I'm in love with piano right now, so uh, this is a really cool sound. I just wanted to play this for you. I'm going to make one track and then kind of show you how I'm going to load up uh, Fruity Loops in controller mode here so you can see it, and then I'll walk you through it. It'll be good. It's going to be great, so check it out. So we got our we got three tracks, right? And they're not audio tracks; they're just plugins. You can do your key groups, your drums, and uh, MIDI tracks, or whatever you want to do. But right now, we just got three plugins. And what I want to do with that is I'm going to show you on the MPC software now um, how to take this straight from here into your favorite DAW. I mean, uh, I use Fruity Loops because it was uh, my first DAW, and I'm humble to it. And it works really good with the MPC. So here, real quick, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna add one more plugin because you can't open up the Fruity Loops in your MPC. Just go to your plugin, Fruity Loops Studio, right there. It's got the metro now and everything. Um, let me turn this down here real quick. Did you see that? Now I got Fruity Loops on here. So how do you see Fruity Loops? If you hit Program Edit, a little thing called Visible right here. And when you twist Visible, I'm going to turn it. Right now it's off, so nothing's on my computer screen. It looks just like that on my laptop. But when you turn it all the way on, it turns on Fruity Loops. And then you can drag and drop your... Um, I'll show you. Check this out. Alright, cool. So whenever I twist the knob, this is what pops up on the MPC. Left, right. So what I'm going to do is minimize this. You can actually open the MPC software in your Fruity Loops as well, but I prefer to do it this way. And I'm going to bring my audio track mixer here to the front. 
but okay, let's say we're on track three right now, right? We're on track three, and I like that piano part, so what I'm going to do is just export this little button here, export audio. And there it is. I can hold it down and drag it to my Fruity Loops right here. Pink. There it is. And um, so you really don't need more than one audio track. So we're going to go to Audio Track 2, which has my mini, mini grand. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's click it. And then drag it. Put it on Track 2. And yeah, you can export your stems and all that, but if you're into your computer already, you might as well just do it like this. So, uh, we got one more track. Put it on track one. Do the same thing on the MPC. And I'm just controlling it from the uh, hardware. Export audio. And so if you only have one track to work with, just do it like this, one at a time. And there's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to send 20 tracks at once. All right. You get the same thing that uh, the 2.8 software gives you, except for you don't have eight audio tracks or unlimited audio tracks or whatever it is that your computer does. But 9 out of 10, you're going to export to a, a, a different DAW because you're familiar with a different DAW. And this seems to work. <laughs> Pretty cool. And you guys know where to go from here. Reverse polarity. Now you got all your stuff that you're familiar with. You can add your effects, go to your mixer, or whatever it is that you do. Okay? Right on, guys. It's just a quick little tip tutorial. And uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I have a ton of different workflows. Uh, tutorial. Hey, right on guys. Again, I'm Poe Popo, and that is just a quick way to get more audio tracks out of your free MPC software, or even if you're using regular software and you want to uh, export it to Cubase or any other DAW, really. You don't have to send all your stems, which, you know, we can go over that in another video. I've already gone over that, I think, but to export your whole mix in one chunk is really cool, and it's different. If you have eight audio tracks, you really don't need the audio tracks, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to do it like that, that's the easiest way that I've found to do it. I appreciate you guys very much for watching. We've been really killing the uh, subscriber count in the last couple of months, man. Uh, I'm humbled, so I do appreciate every one of you. And if you have any questions or whatever, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do try to get back to you guys as soon as I can ASAP, but, uh, you know, I do get busy. But, again, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm just going to keep on me messing with this. Uh, my next video, I want to go over um, MIDI. And all you're going to need is one, five... Uh, DIN MIDI cable. It's going to be very easy and I want to show you how to get some cool melodies out of your uh, MPC and show you instead of using VIP software it's more if you have hardware synthesizers how to hook it up and route it together so no MIDI in, MIDI through or nothing. It's not going to be USB I'm going to go straight MIDI cables so stay tuned for that video too. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Polly Popo. You guys have a great day. And remember no beat is a bad beat, alright?